everybody, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little package I got in the mail. This came from Amy. Ooh. I started opening it to try to save the noise, and then there I did that. Um, this had a package in a package. I believe Amy has sent me some treats before. So I'm digging out her card. Aw. Look at that. It looks like she colored it. That's cute. Um, let's see what it is. Oh, it says, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hi, Summer. There are more goodies for you and some more of your for your students. Hope all is well with you and your family. Amy. That's so cute. So if you remember a while ago, Amy sent me some treats. Um, there's a, a dollar type store that she goes to. And she sent me some treats for crochet and some that I shared with my students. So I thought I would show you what she sent me again. Um, here are some really awesome pencils. If you remember, if you were a child from the 80s and 90s, this is where you take the lead out and you push it through the top. <laughs> Those little cartridges. Here, you can see it better through there without the glare. So that is amazing. And then here's a super soft little bag. Let's see what's in here. Last time it was a cute little bag. Here's some knitting needle toppers. And oh, this might be like a hand knitting needle topper. That's interesting. Here's some, a couple hooks. Ooh, I like these boy hooks. I've only had three. Tara Lynn sent me some a while ago. A cute teal pen. And oh my goodness, these cute little tiny containers. There's one, two, three. Here's one with, uh, I wonder what these are. These have to be a knitting tool. Like these little stretchy, I'm not showing any very good. There's a big one, a big green one and two little purple ones. And that's in one of these little containers. I love containers. Um, also in here were these like little hands. I'm wondering these, if these are knitting needle stoppers. Here's a fist and looks like there's three sets of hands in here. <laughs> a pointing hand, a fist hand and a open hand. Oh no, a peace hand. And then the rest of those little jars. So that came out of this cute little bag. And then, ooh, another container full of hooks. Isn't that exciting? I've had hooks like this before. I think I have three of those also. I've never had a hook that looked like this. This is, it doesn't say what kind of brand is this. I've never had one like that. And there's two of them in here. 4.5 is my favorite, one of my favorite hook numbers. I like that. And here are some more rainbow color pencils for the students. Ooh, bells for crafty Christmas crafty projects. That's exciting. Here's some regular pencils with dogs. Looks like space dogs. <laughs> And, oh, a different type of crochet hook. This is a, oh, they call it knitting, of course. But that is obviously a crochet hook. You can't, you can't expect. Maybe it's the same language. Maybe it's the same in Japanese. Here's some cute little eraser buddies. Look how cute those are. Those are for the students, too. Ooh, binder clips. I love binder clips. I mean... <laughs> embarrassed saying that when I get excited about that kind of stuff but what I do is I have to go to this hall, down a hall in our reading room and we get these books called the A to Z readers and you need like three or four of them they're little flimsy paper books but I put those binder clips on them for the different reading groups and here's some cute little things for the prize bin a little cat on a skateboard I'm sure that's from the pets movie isn't it and here's a cat with some I wonder if these are holy cats I should keep them up there but maybe I'll put them in the prize bin. I haven't decided yet. We'll have to see. And then some more crochet hooks, knitting from Japan. Ooh, stickers. Every teacher loves stickers. Insects and fish. And then here is a crochet magazine. Crochet World. It says it has 20 colorful pri um projects. Let's go to the back and see what they have here. Um, looks like they have a couple shawls or wraps. 
cute little flag banner. Um, maybe a napkin or a pot holder. A sweater and a pillow. A throw. Ooh, some pansies. Another, a floral blanket. Coasters, another afghan, some place um, placemats, a little doily. Ooh, look at that pillow. A scarf, afghan. Ooh, look at that. That's cute. Little baby sweaters. I should try that. Hmm. I'm unclear of what, oh, here's a, a bee amigurumi, but I'm unclear of what 44 is. I'm going to check that out. There's interesting little owl things. When I worked at the daycare, I was the owl room. Baby teether towels. So they're made out of cotton and then they have a little teething ring on them. Interesting. Oh baby, I love, and then this sweet bee honey pattern. This this sweater, this little baby sweater is adorable. Let's see if I can try to show you from the side. Looks like a little elf baby. Oh, I've done a hood one time and that was for Flynn in his poncho. Oh my goodness, look how cute this kid is, firstly. Look at that, that's adorable. I'm gonna have to make that for sure. It's a little pocket hoodie for a little baby. Well, this is amazing. Oh my, I should send this to my sister because she has all that cotton thread. Wonder if she could make something like that. Wild Blossom Coaster. So this is a very nice crochet catalog magazine oh and this is a new edition april 2021 how thoughtful so if you're interested in any of those uh these patterns probably pop by joann's or your walmart or michael's and see what kind of crochet magazines they have you can get this too look at that that's cute so what i like to do since somebody just shared a bunch of stuff with me i'm gonna pop in a giveaway at the end of this video so now here, this is the end of it, you guys. <laughs> um, I have four skeins of yarn that I'm just going to give away. If you recall, I got two of these from my Walmart. For some reason, they were on sale. And they are shawls in the ball before Lion Brand made them shawl in a cake. This one is in the colorway Restful Rainbow. This is in the colorway Healing Teal. And both of these have patterns on the inside. And then I've got some dazzling yarn from Hobby Lobby. This one's in the colorway Tropics. And this also is in the colorway Tropics. So four skeins of yarn I will give you. I'll probably pop it in one of these priority mail. So if you are interested in um, this little giveaway that I put at the end of Amy's giveaway video, or video, um, I wrote down here my dates. I did, didn't I? Oh, here, here it is. So I'm pre-recording this ahead of time. So I'm trying to plan that this will be released on March 26th. I don't remember what day of the week that is. I wanna say it's a Friday because our spring break starts on the 27th. And I'm gonna run it until, the, so it'll be the 26th, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 days have September, April, June, and November, so 31. On April 2nd, I will shut off, or that'll be the last day to enter. Um, I will choose a winner, but it may be a couple, I'll use the random comet picker. Maybe a couple days after that, because it overlaps with Easter and we're going up to Door County again, possibly. So I will at least have the video up of the winner on the 6th, but I'll choose the winner on the night of April. Make a quick video or at least choose the winner. And then, you know, I might release it that night too. I'm not sure, but the, for sure the contest ends on the 2nd, which is a Friday. Yeah, so March 26th through April 2nd, you can enter by commenting, liking the video, of course, liking it, being a subscriber, agreeing to the rules. I've agreed to the rules. I'll copy and paste those rules. Sometimes I make errors because I have to remember to change the value and the dates. And there's no special name for this giveaway. It's just four skeins of yarn, um, which the value of them, to be honest, is really low because I buy most of my yarn on clearance 
And all of these, these are Hobby Lobby on $150. So I got this for $3 and I bought these, I wanna say they were $1.50 or $1.99. So these were $4, but if you wanna buy these normally, these are like seven or eight. And the other dazzling colors at Hobby Lobby are $5.99. So I actually spent $7 on these, but the real value of them is 12 plus 14 is 27. If you can't find them on sale, you'd have to spend 27 to $28 to get those four skeins of yarn. Okay, so that is what you need to do. Comment below. I agree to the rules and maybe put down whether you like Easter bunnies better than Easter chicks or Easter chicks better than Easter bunnies. I like Easter bunnies better. And on the second, I will choose a winner and hopefully on either the night of the second or the morning of the third, get a video up and running. If not minimum, April 6th, the winner will be announced. And uh, yeah, hopefully um, you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Amy, for these treats. I can't wait to bring them to school and put them in the prize bin. And I don't know if I'll keep these two little cats here or put them in the prize bin at school. Those kids get prizes all the time. It's part of the behavior incentive. Okay, thanks for liking and sharing my video. Don't forget to enter below and like the video. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.